This is a hot no. Hot Nas. Nars. 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 Hey, how is your day going? Another day in the neighborhood. The sun is shining. It is 73 degrees. I am just like, what? So I'm racing through this video as fast as I can so I can get out and play. Enjoy some sunshine, cause it is a good day. As we all know, or some of you may not know, Sephora had a VIB sale. I've been shopping quite a bit. And on May 1st, the very last day, I just went through to see if I had missed anything. I saw that NARS just came out with the Orgasm X collection. Not the entire collection, mind you, just some of the collection. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I review makeup. I enjoy makeup. Let's play with it. So I copped it and that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's just jump right into the video so we, I can go outside. But before we jump too far back, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you get to see some more of me and some of the videos I put out when I put out a video. And if you like this video at any point in time, throw a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you missed my last video, I'll actually put that right up there. That way you can catch up. And if you wanna go ahead and share it to someone you think they might appreciate or like the video, go ahead. Do usually put timestamps down below so you can jump down at any time and skip ahead. Let's see what I got in my VIB sale haul for this NARS Orgasm X edition. I'm not that familiar with NARS. Just let me just put that out there in case you're thinking that I know all the stuff. I do not. I do not. I've gotten like a NARS lipstick in some of my Sephora boxes, which I liked them. There was nothing wrong with them. But this is my first time actually playing with NARS makeup. So I can't really speak to past palettes. This is all first impressions. This is the first time for me using NARS, just so you know. Orgasm Quad Eyeshadow. I really like the packaging. It's like a black gloss with uh, pink writing all over it. The only thing I don't like, it's the kind of gloss that shows fingerprints all over the place. And I am oily all the time. I mean, this is just... Just not a cute look. But it has a little band on it. I'll just take that off. It shows you the colors inside, but doesn't actually have the names of the colors. Flat black matte. Again, with the peachy pink writing in it. Oh my goodness, this is like the smallest little thing. The tiniest little thing I've ever seen. And it's broken down into a golden shimmer, a light pink champagne, a matte coral, and a shimmering light cocoa. And I'll just watch it after the video is done. So let me prep my eyes and I'll be right back. I'm just bringing you in a little bit closer so we can see these colors at play. Hopefully they all show up as they're meant to. I am going to start with the, the matte coral. Uh, there is fallout. Look, there's fallout. It's getting messy. And I'm just going to do a light dusting. She's showing up, so that's good. Almost like I just put powder down. Uh, I need a, a little bit deeper NARS, please. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, so this is buildable, which is really good because I'm like, uh, <laughs> you, you telling me I just threw away $52? Come on. Actually, I really like this matte coral shade. It's like an in-between of like a really light cocoa for me and like a pink. It's like just one of those colors that's like multi-tonal. How's it looking? How's it looking? I do actually like that color. Even though it's like very mild, I didn't expect it to be a deep color. I thought it, it was going to be as mild as it is. So I'm actually okay with it. The shimmering light cocoa. The flecks on this one are a little bit larger than what I'm used to. Oh wow. Oh wow, that is cocoa. That is very pretty. Now I feel like I'm going out somewhere as opposed to just going out to play in the sunshine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going somewhere. No, no, not really. Very sheer. Yeah, it's like a perfect match to my skin tone with just glitter on it, honestly. If I just did that on its own, but I think I'd be fine. So I'm gonna just do it on the outer edge. Checking it on. Oh wow, that is really shimmery like a lot of shimmer in there oh and it's it's kind of messy the light pink champagne i'm just gonna try and pack that off oh wow this is way too sheer what in the world this is not what i expected that's not good it's more like a shine honestly just make my eyelid super shiny 
Oh, it's actually looking a lot better on this side. Oh, pink. Now that I'm putting it on both eyes, I kind of really like it though. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. Oh. It's such like a light wash of color, but so pretty. I didn't like it at first, but now I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, it gives it like this wet look, like shiny, wet, crystallized look that I'm kind of digging. Like a really soft, soft pink. Enhances my eyes. Pay full price for it, because I would have been freaking the fuck out. I've been like, uh, how much for not looking like I have no makeup on exactly? But it's really freaking soft, like such a soft palette. This would never be like my first choice. It's very, very nice. Classing it up, this is what I'm gonna be doing. All right, let me put a base on and then we shall continue. I also picked up the NARS Climax Mascara. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, what? Why did you pick that up? It's been out for forever. I know. I've never actually used it. A lot of people have been mentioning to me that this is a really good mascara. Okay, so. <laughs> but I wanted to try it out. So I got a little mini. And hopefully it's as good as everyone says. And if you've never actually seen the wand, there it is. Okay, I really like that it's really brushy. It's actually making my lashes go in a specific direction, which other mascaras don't do that for me. <laughs> they just kind of go wherever they want to. It looks like it's, it is also adding on a little bit of length. So that's how about the lashes compare. Yeah, there's like a little bit of length. There's no clumping and they're kind of all going in the same direction. Brush is pretty darn good. The only problem I have with the brush is it is kind of big. So other than that, I like how the lashes came out, so that's good. I'm okay with the mascara. I like the formula. It went on really well. The brush definitely separates your lashes really well. And it adds on a little bit of length for me. Uh, I'm still gonna put on lashes though. <laughs> it's not that much length. Just a little bit. Just a tad where you can actually like see what's going on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go in with the golden shimmer and just use that as an inner corner highlight. Ooh, that is pretty. I'm also gonna do it underneath my brow bone over there. But, ooh, that's really pretty. That shows up so well too. Back in with that matte coral and line my under eyes. I mean, you can see it, but it blends in a bit too much with my skin tone, so it's not like you can really see it. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. The pink champagne, so much better. I'm gonna go back to that golden shimmer and make sure that in our corner is startling. I don't want you lost in the shuffle. I want you to show up. Ooh, oh, you're showing. You are showing up and showing out. Yeah, lesson learned. Don't use this big ass thing for your lower lashes. It is, it is tough. So I believe my eyes are all done with that. Um, what do I think about the palette? I think it's okay. I'm not mad at the palette. If I had paid full price, I would be though, $52. $42 is still, how much did I end up paying, 42? Yeah, $42 is still a little much for four colors that barely show up. All the colors did work out really well. Um, it's just a lighter palette than I would normally go for. And saying that, this was the orgasm palette that just came out. There is gonna be an Orgasm X, and I'll put it right there for you just so you can see. That isn't actually coming out until May 13th. And I think that would work out a lot better with my skin tone. You'd definitely be able to see it more. It looks like the colors are a lot richer. Sadly, if I do end up getting it, it will be $52, not 41 and change, which this ended up being with the VIB sale. But I think that would have worked out better. I don't know why they waited, why they didn't just do it at the same time. That way I would have just gotten the other one instead of this one, but that's okay. Next in the collection, they actually have this on Sephora. For some reason, I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. I thought I had it in my cart and I never double check. So maybe I'll pick it up next time if I do end up getting the other one, who knows. Travel size orgasm eyeshadow palette. According to the website, it features six pink, peach, and neutral shades. I honestly don't know why I didn't pick this up. I mean, I was on the Sephora website, I ordered it, 
But for some reason, when I got the packaging, it wasn't in the box. I looked online, it also wasn't in the car, part of the order, so I have no idea. But I think that would probably be a better option. Although, I don't know how much smaller you're gonna get. It's not like this is that big. I mean, look at it. So how much smaller are you gonna get? And look how dusty it got. Another thing that I picked up was a bronzing powder. This actually came out a few weeks ago from NARS. Um, I've noticed a lot of bronzers are on the market. It feels like everyone's just popping out bronzers. Now I'm new to bronzers. I'm like, what, what, what are you supposed to do? Give me like a glow or something. So I'm not really sure what I'm expecting. I ended up getting the shade Punta Cana. I was just like, you know, I should try the bronzer. And maybe it's a thing that I'm gonna be doing in the future. It seems like all the brands are coming out with the bronzer right now. It must be a summer thing. I do actually prefer the flat black packaging to the glossy black because you don't see my fingerprints on it. It really bothers me. I'm like, oh, look at all those fingerprints. So that is what it looks like. So Punta Cana is the darkest shade that they have with just the bronzing powders. This is not classified as matte. Described as diffused rich mahogany brown with golden shimmer. Ooh. And then the step down from that would be Casino, which is a diffused deep brown with a golden shimmer. Laguna, which is a diffused brown with a golden shimmer. And the lightest would be San Juan, which is a diffused light bronze with a golden shimmer. I can understand that as a bronzer, you kind of want that little shimmer going on. I'm actually gonna swatch this just to see how, that's what it looks like on my finger. It doesn't look that dark. Oh no, stop it. That's the deepest one and I can't even see it. Oh, stop it. I don't know if that's a good idea, man. Let's, let's pat this on. I mean, I can see it, but I, would have hoped I would see a little bit more of it. This is not what I was expecting. No, no, that is absolutely not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to show up. What the hell? And how much was this? Yeah, this is $38. That is uh, not okay. NARS, this is your deepest one and I can't see it. And I know I'm not the darkest. Thank you very much. All right, let me try using a sponge to put it on. See if maybe I can get a little bit more product on there. You see a golden shimmer? Cause I don't see a golden shimmer. It looks kind of red, actually. I don't see anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is a hot no. I'm just gonna use it as a powder then. <laughs> this is a hot hell no. You can't see nothing. Oh, I mean, it's a good powder though. This, this is distressing. I can't believe this is their darkest shade and you're not showing up on me? Like, why? In what world? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used that as a powder. Now it looks like it's drying out my whole face. <laughs> I should have just left it where it was on my cheeks. Okay, well, um, quite disappointed in that one. I thought there would be a lot more color to that and there was not. We're just gonna say goodbye to like, <laughs> Am I crazy here? <laughs> that was, <laughs> you're not supposed to match me. You're supposed to be like a shade darker and give me a, like a bronzy glow. Do I look bronzed? Let me try to make this darker. Am I looking bronzed to you? Every time I see a bronzer, it darkens. You, you know what? You know what? No. Uh, let me wash my finger. Yes, uh, that was disappointing. I really did not expect that to not show up. <laughs> Um, yeah, moving on though, moving on. Next thing I picked up was the cheek palette. I was taking pictures of it earlier, that's why there are fuzzies on it, so just ignore that one. Just take this little strappy off. I feel like I'm taking a bra off this thing. Be gone with you, oh boy. <laughs> so what does this say about the cheek palette? That bronzer like got me shook. I was like, wait, what? What do you mean you're not gonna show up? You're the darkest shade they got. That's, that's horrible. Are you saying that I'm a rich mahogany? Ooh, thanks. But I'm not the darkest person I know, so what the hell? <laughs> On to the cheek palette though. And this one has that black glossy look that I'm not a fan of with the pink writing. And it's basically because I have all those fingerprints. Just call me Miss Fingerprinty. And that's the package. Nice flat black. Ooh, I like that reflection. 
Orgasm, which is a highlighting blush powder, Orgasm Blush, and Orgasm X Blush. The Orgasm Highlighting Powder is a golden shimmer. The Orgasm Blush, which is the one in the middle, is peachy pink with a golden shimmer. And then the Orgasm X Blush is shimmering deep coral pink with gold pearl. Oh, I really like the Orgasm X Blush, the color on that one. It has that like peachy undertone that I'm always looking for but can never actually find. I need to get more of these brushes. I find that they diffuse everything so well for me that I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna go in with Orgasm on this side since I've never actually tried it out and then Orgasm X on the other side. Ooh, all I see is the gold. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah, it just gave me like a really gold highlight. <laughs> I was like, I thought this was supposed to be pink. Don't get me wrong, I really like it, but that's literally all I see is just gold. I really like that gold. That's what I expected the bronzer to look like, honestly. Not the blush. Let's see what the Orgasm X looks like. Holy pigment. <laughs> okay. Maybe I went a little too ham on that one. Oh, so this one is more of a... The pink shows up, or the peach shows up a lot better on this one. On my skin tone, anyway like a deeper oh interesting so this one is just the pink is too light for me so all you get is the gold and then here it's just a hint of the pink even though it looks like it should be more interesting interesting it's like a weird pinky gold this just looks like a crazy highlight I'm like what does the highlight look like if this is the blush I think I need, might need some more concealer because my under eyes are looking a lot darker for some reason. Once I put that on, I'm like, eh. <laughs> where'd those bags come from? Where'd they come from? Get them out of here. Yeah, okay. I brightened it up a little bit. That was so weird. I put the blush on and all of a sudden my under eyes are like, it's like, do I look sickly? Like, what is going on over here? I will say though, I really do like the, uh, the Nora's blush, both of them. This one is a hint of pink if you're into it. And then the other one is just gold. If you're not into the pink, which I think is fabulous. So you, it's like the best of both worlds with this palette. All right, so let's see what the highlight looks like <laughs> if this is what's happening with just the blush. And the highlight is a uh, golden shimmer. So it's, sh I'm assuming it's just gonna be brighter than what I already have, right? That, I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, oh, it definitely brightened something up. Whoa, whoa, I think maybe I went too high up with that one. That, that highlight is crazy. That is a bright highlight. I don't know about this one. I do actually like the blushes and the highlights, you know, I'm just glowing. $42, which was a full price. I don't know if I would spend 40 bucks on this, but that's just me. That's a personal thing. I think it's a good buy. I think there are a lot of positives with this one. It just depends what you're looking for, honestly. So and that's the Orgasm X Cheek Palette. So I also picked up the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint. And I got this in the color Laguna. There are actually two different shades on this one. There's Laguna, which is this, and there's also Reef. Um, Reef seems to have more of a mauve tone, and I wanted gold. Like, I wanted gold. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of matches my nail polish. Same vibe. Lip oil. I like it. It's not sticky at all. It glides on really effortlessly. And it gives me that like hint, that little hint of a uh, gold shimmer that I was looking for. I, I wanted some bronze to go along with it, but I'll, I'll stick with the blush, I guess. But this is exactly what I expected from this uh, lip oil actually the lip tint so I'm very happy with this this is literally exactly what I expected it to show up like yay thank you Nars <laughs> I'm like what is happening here okay so the lip tint on point like it and this is $26 exactly what I expected delivers a sheer wash color and moisturizing feel exactly completely agree and he looks sun -cast. this is like the softest look I think I've done in quite a while I'm shimmering that bronzer just kind of 
pissed me off because I could have been shimmering a lot more. Thank you very much. I have the Orgasm X lip oil. Just gonna take off a little bra strap. Ooh, and it's like a sheer pink, corally pink, I think is where they're going with the Orgasm X. It looks like the blush, actually. That's what I would say. Oh, wow, this is cute. Oh, this is super cute, especially with the how my eyes are looking. This is exactly what I need to be looking like right now, which is surprising because I usually stay away from pinks. But this is like a peachy, corally pink, so it looks good. This is really good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. That was everything that I picked up. If you do want to see the swatches, stay tuned. So this is the Golden Shimmer. Holy moly. I don't remember it looking like that. Oh, I only use it as an inner corner highlight. Well, that was stupid. That's gorgeous. That's crazy. And then this is the Light Pink Champagne. Matte Coral. Uh, Showed up better when I brushed it on <laughs> and swatching it. But that's the matte coral. It's like barely there. Ooh, it is kind of peachy though. Did the peach come out? A little bit, I would say. And then this is the shimmering light cocoa. This shimmering light cocoa barely shows up. My skin tone with shimmer on top of it. There it is. Yeah, that barely shows up. So that is the quad. That was what was in the quad there. The Orgasm X Cheek Palette. Golden Shimmer, the highlighter. Orgasm Blush. Yeah, that barely shows up. Let's try that again. I don't even know where I swatched it is how barely it shows up. All right, so that barely shows up. I can see why that didn't show up at all. The Orgasm X Blush. Yeah. Okay, so with the lip tint oil, I'm just gonna do it over here. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it would be. It's like a sheer bronzy color. Laguna. And then this is the Orgasm X Lip Tint Oil. Yep, and that is what that looks like. Yeah, it definitely has a very pinky hue on there. It was a bad swatch because I can barely turn my arm around. But So that's it. That's the video. Have a good one. Bye.